Hi everyone, welcome to Traveling Goals. In this video, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to fill out the DS-11 online using the form filler. All of the information you enter in the form filler will be compiled on the DS-11 form. You must print the form and take it to a passport agency. You're not able to submit the form online. You must apply in person. I have another video that also gives you step-by-step -step instructions. That video includes the cost of the passport, processing time, delivery, and how to locate a passport agency. I put the link to that video in the description box. Now, let's get started on completing the DS-11 form filler. Go to the website travel.state.gov. On that first page, click on the box that says get a U.S. passport. There are three steps in completing the form filler. First, you must answer a few questions. When you are done, click next to go to the next step. On this page, choose the type of passport you want, the book, the card, or both. Then choose the processing method, standard, expedited, or expedited at an agency. Also, you will choose if you want standard delivery or one to two days. Click Calculate. This is the cost of your passport. You will pay the agency in two separate payments, one to the Department of State and the other to the accepting facility that you are going to complete your application. Click Next. This page will tell you the documents you need to have when you show up at the passport agency. Now you will begin to fill out the form filler. Click Form Filler. You will get prompted to a privacy notice. Read the notice and then check the box and click submit if you want to continue the form filler. On the next page, go to the box that says fill out online and print. Click submit. Let's begin filling out the form filler. I will fill out the application as an example. This first part is about the applicant, which is you. Answer all of the questions that have a red asterisk. A question asks for your employer or school. This question is optional. You don't have to answer it if you don't want to. After you're done with each page, click Next to proceed to the next set of questions. On the bottom of the contact information page, a question asks for you to fill in the space if you need to designate your mail to someone on your behalf. Continue filling out the form. Click Next. On the Travel Plans page, indicate where you are traveling to or where you want to go out of the U.S. Complete the Emergency Contact Information page. You will then indicate if you have been issued a passport book or a card before. On this page, fill out your parent and spouse information. Next to where it asks for mother and father's information, you have an option to check unknown. Finally, are you known by any other names? List other names that you are known by. When you are done, click Next. The application review page will come up. You are able to review and edit your information. On this page, you have the option to get a 52-page book at no additional fee. It has more pages than the regular book. The regular book has 28 pages. If you travel internationally often, I recommend you get the 52-page book. Make sure you choose the book you want because it will show up on your application form. You will be asked again to choose processing and delivery method. You can change your mind on the processing time and delivery method when you get to the passport agency. If you do not have a document on hand that shows your proof of citizenship, you can check the box that says file search for the agency to look up the information at a fee of $150. After you have completed filling out everything on this page, you will get the cost of the fees and services. The $35 execution fee is the cost the agency is charging you to submit your application. At the bottom of the page in the blue box is the total price of the fees and services. Click next when you are done. Now it's time to print your form. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Click the box that says, I have read and acknowledged the steps and information contained above. Once you do that, 
click Create Form. Open or save your form. You will see all of the information you entered on the Form DS-11. Print this form and take this with you to the Passport Facility. Remember, at the bottom of page 1 of the application, do not write in the area that says Stop, continue to page 2. Also, do not staple your photo in the space and do not sign your name on the form. Only sign your name in front of the passport agency when he or she tells you to do so. The same with the bottom of page two. Do not write below this line. When you are done reviewing the form, print it. Take this form and all of your documents with you to the passport agency. Congratulations. You are one step closer to getting your passport. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe.